Uh, yes, I am from Poland. I was representing Poland. Yeah. Did you know anything in advance about the, the banning of Johnny Cage? Uh, no, I did not know anything. There was no info. I've got info from Warner Bros. Uh, official etiquette about what is going to happen and there was no, not even single tiny information about Johnny's cage being banned. Naast me staan nu uh, de, de Roemeense speler, uh, die is er ook uit, maar spijtig genoeg ook een Johnny Cage speler. And, um, you played Johnny Cage but you didn't know it was banned? Yeah, it was a big surprise when I got here. <laughs> At least I played because I came here a long way and why not? <laughs> and then which character did you play now? I went with Sub-Zero. And <laughs> well, at least I won one fight. Uh, well, I knew Johnny Cage had some problems, but uh, in, back in Romania, we only banned players that actually used the bug. I mean, if you used it, you're out. If you didn't use it, it was okay. So, uh, I thought uh, the rules were the same as then. I wasn't told otherwise. So, that's why. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm from Greece. And you went what, second place in the final? Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, yes. Um, did you know about uh, the ban of the Johnny Cage? Uh, the ban, I learned it from here. I didn't saw it anywhere else. When I arrived here, they told that they will ban Johnny Cage. I'm the Portuguese winner from the Portuguese uh, Mortal Kombat tournament. Did you know about the Johnny Cage ban? I didn't know about that and it, and it must be pretty bad for other players who, who train for, we, we, uh, that train with him uh, a lot to get here and, and then, hey, you can choose it. It's really bad, yeah. Naast me staat Ricardo, de Nederlands uh, Mortal Kombat kampioen. Dag Ricardo. Hallo. Uh, je hebt Nederland uh, gewonnen. Uh, hoe was het om uh, het Nederlands kampioenschap te winnen? Ja, eigenlijk verrassend makkelijk. Dat, uh, dat was niet heel erg moeilijk, maar ja, het spel was ook nog niet lang uh, uit op de demo toen. Dus ja, dat was uh, niet moeilijk. Maar je bent een ervaren uh, fighter gamer. Hè? Ja, nou, dat wel. Dat heeft mij ook wel geholpen. Um, hier in, uh, in uh, Birmingham uh, zijn de regels een beetje veranderd. Uh, was je daarvan op de hoogte? Nee. nee ik, uh, toen ik hoorde dat die Belgische finalist geen Johnny Cage mocht spelen en dat we op een heel groot scherm moesten spelen uh, met lag input en dat we weer staand moesten spelen en al die gekke dingen en dat we geen kast konden winnen, maar de UK wel. Yeah. Dus we hadden eigenlijk enorm teleurgesteld in, uh, in, in het Engelse toernooi. Ja, ja, nou ja, weet je, de, de opzet was heel leuk en het zag er heel goed uit. Maar zo, zoals meerdere spelers zeiden, vanaf het moment dat je gaat spelen, dan heb je zoiets van, nee, dit, dit is het gewoon niet. En ik snap niet waarom het zo gegaan is. Ze hadden de, ja, de equipment, ze hadden de tv. Uh, ze konden het gewoon simpel aansluiten, maar het is gewoon niet gebeurd. En de organisatie zelf was gewoon heel slecht. Ja. Uh, heb je voor de rest nog geamuseerd, de, de rest van de dag, buiten het toernooi? Ja, sowieso. Uh, desondanks het toernooi heb ik er gewoon met de hele groep een leuke dag van gemaakt. Dus uh, lekker gegeten, we hebben ergens gedronken en uh, ja, hotel was leuk en uh, genoeg lol gehad. Dus uh, ik, ik heb er geen spijt van, van, uh, van dat ik hier ben gekomen. Alleen ja, een beetje jammer van het toernooi, maar uh, ja, desondanks dat toch naar mijn zin gehad. En uh, wat do you think about the, the, the tournament? The tournament, it, not, it wasn't of the best because it was in the gameplay, it was a little bit laggy, and uh, that uh, some contestants had uh, an advantage, especially UK. No, because they played here in the in the before tournament in the UK finals, and uh, most of us had the uh, disadvantage. That's from stage. It looks uh, totally professional. You got uh, cool cosplays. Uh, you got commenters, but on the inside. Uh, it was uh, badly, badly organized. First of all, uh, UK players uh, was chosen uh, right before uh, the finals. There were so two, two UK finalists in the European final, right? Uh, right, and they cannot face each other, as you said. Uh, uh, if, if both of them till the finals, if both of them won, they will meet uh, at the finals, not uh, not earlier. Yeah, it, 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 they say it's, it's randomly selected. We cannot check that, of course. Uh, but it, it's very. You see it that the first uh, contester uh, of UK is in the first, and the, the other one is in the last. So the only point they can see each other is in the finals. Uh, yeah, right. But in my opinion, that's not the main problem we faced here. 
Uh, the main problem is that the game has a one second lag. Uh, you hitting the buttons and your character uh, acts one second after that. So uh, there were uh, UK finals before uh, European finals. They get used to the one second lag so they were confident. Uh, this was my first uh, games today. I asked them to give me some console with the game so I could warm up myself. No, uh, it was uh, they were unable to do that. Uh, the tournament games was m were my first games. Uh, he played about, I don't know, uh, 30 rounds uh, to get to the finals of UK. So he was totally warmed up and he was prepared for one second lag. None of the other competitors had that chance. And that was the main problem. Uh, I'm also disappointed that uh, it seems that projector has a bit of lag in it. Uh, it's a very difficult to do the combos unless you're used to it. Uh, the players that play a lot before had a lot of advantage, of course. <laughs> but uh, I think I have managed with Johnny Cage a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. I think it was it was good for the most part. Uh, I, I still uh, I still think the the, the use screen uh, didn't help. For, for the most part, because uh, they had a little bit of a delay, but yeah, that's uh, that's like the, that's the the way the things are.